What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. I want to do a quick review on these new Minn Kota Raptors for me this year. Uh, these Minn Kota Raptors have been out here for a couple years and with this new uh, Phoenix boat I just got this year I'm running the Raptors and to tell you I'm in love with them is a complete understatement. So my previous boats I've ran the Minn Kota Talons and they are awesome loved every bit of it this year i'm running the raptors like i said and the sturdiness of these raptors the way they handle um, the boat when they're in the wind you know the active anchoring that we have on them i mean everything is just so awesome uh, as you can guys can see here you know they're not moving they're not moving an inch i mean i'm moving the whole boat while, while trying to move these they're a little bit dirty now i used them i put them to the test this week and uh you know they are they're nothing but good things to say about them so let's get out on the water. I'm going to show you guys a few of the features. here now in the water I just put the raptors down you know they're so crucial in instances like this you guys can see we got a bunch of vegetation we're in shallow water and I'm actually gonna go out and look for some bedding fish they're starting to move up on the beds but to have those you know that active anchoring it's always sensing the conditions and it's always continuing to work to keep you in place wherever your boat is you know right now we got a crosswind coming at us and as you guys can see the the boat's not moving at all. It also helped me out in this last open tournament. It's very crucial because I was targeting isolated pad stems. And with the wind that we had on day two of the tournament, you know, I could put those raptors down and instead of the boat just moving around, I could put it down wherever, wherever you were with that active anchoring. You know, I could make a specific cast right where I was without that boat, you know, swinging and moving around. One other very crucial aspect, especially in Florida, you know, the quietness of those raptors are, it's unbelievable. You know, a lot of times I'd be up in the front, I'd hit my stomp switches and I wouldn't even hear those things come up or even go down. You know, in this very shallow water, these fish are very used to hearing, you know, the shallow water anchors go down. So the more quiet and the more stealthy you can be, the better off you have a chance of catching them. So with the Raptors, there's a bunch of different ways you guys can use them. Um, you know, I got the stomp switches up front where obviously you can you can use those. You can use the remotes. I got a bunch of different different remotes around the boat here. And you also can use the app. I actually have an app on my phone. Um, I, just, I don't know if you guys can see that. You got the app on the phone. You can click that. And with this app and with the remote and, and uh, everything else you can actually pick different uh, settings on it you can do soft bottom you can do hard bottom uh, you can have it on auto so it's you know detecting the uh, automatically detecting the bottom um, you can choose your speeds whether you want the raptors to go down or up slow medium or fast uh, you can turn the active anchor on or off with the whole one boat network you can actually network these raptors to your graphs and you can run them off your graph so you, there's really a handful of different options you know whether you guys want to use the remote the stomp switches the app on your phone or your electronics there's many different ways to get those raptors to go up and down so the raptors come in a different couple models uh, you can get the 8 foot or the 10 foot you can pick from a various color selection this year on my new phoenix 21 phx i'm running the 8 foot raptors if you guys are in the market for some shallow water anchors make sure you check out the minkota raptors I swear to God that it might just be the death of me just count the